Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Rob from Brain Buffet, and uh, just wanted to give you a quick intro to how to manage multiple versions of Photoshop on your computer. Now, we've done a video about this before, but it's kind of changed a little bit, and uh, it's uh, late 2018 right now. Just got back from Max not too long ago, and so wanted to show you how to install multiple versions in case you're maybe working for certification and they recommend a particular version. Sometimes you want to just stay with that version in order to make the exam work exactly like what you're kind of working on. But sometimes you also want to have newer updates to just sort of see what happens. So let's check that out. So right now what I'm going to do is just go here to start and type in Creative Cloud. And you can do this as the same thing on the Mac, except you'll use Spotlight up here in the top right. And I'm going to go here to Apps. And you can see here that I've got Photoshop installed and I actually already have two versions installed. I've got version 19.1.7, which is I think the one that we wrote the uh, CC18 version of the exams in. But here we've got Photoshop CC2001. And what I wanna do is update this without updating this one. You can also see that this down arrow here allows me to learn more about this particular version. And I'll just kind of close that since I don't need to learn anymore right now. You can view some tutorials in here under manage, check this out. You can choose other versions And here. You can install any particular version. And as I mentioned already, I think that I have 19.1.7. I think that's this one right here. Yep, it is. Uh, but what I want to do is just update this Photoshop CC 20.0.1. So to update and replace this current version, I just click the update button. If I wanted to add one of the other ones, I go through manage and then I just choose what version I want. But since I want to just update this one and I'm going to leave this one here, I just update here. When this window opens, you can go here to advanced options and you can choose to import your previous settings. I'm going to turn that off in order to just sort of keep everything straight. And I can click here to remove old versions, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to just go ahead and update. Actually, let me see something because uh, I could always reinstall this older version. I'm going to say remove old versions because I'm curious. Is this going to delete all of the old versions or only the old version that I am updating? So let's see what happens. Actually, I'm honestly a bit curious about that. So I'm kind of making the assumption based on just what it's showing me here. Oh, it says waiting. So maybe it is gonna delete this one as well. It only takes a few minutes to download and what I'm gonna do is just edit this video down so you'll see this uh, progress bar just kinda of jump a couple times uh, if I decide that there's any other things that I think that I wanna say, but basically we're just updating and I'm gonna just make this as short as possible for you guys. And here we are near the end and we can see that it is uninstalling the older version. So if you have multiple versions already installed, and you tell it to uninstall old versions, it's gonna get rid of all of them and include only your newest version. And Creative Cloud app just kind of gives me the notification saying that it's installed the newest CC. So again, just to show you really quick, if I did wanna reinstall that older version, I can do other versions here. 19.1.7 is close to the one that we used when we developed the CC18 exam for the CertiPort ACA. So if I wanted to include that, I could just choose install here. And you can see that it's going to install a separate version of Photoshop. I'm actually gonna cancel that. We'll just roll with version 20 and kind of see what happens. If I get some emails about some updates or some things that are a little bit different in the CC20 version, I'll address that in a separate video. You know, I'm kind of on this minimalist sort of kick a little bit in my life. And so uh, I don't think that I need multiple versions of Photoshop on one computer. So that's all there is to updating and installing your Adobe apps with your Creative Cloud subscription. I've heard a rumor from really legit sources that soon, uh, beginning even in uh, early 2019, it may be that in schools and in institutions, you can only purchase Creative Cloud software where students have named licenses. And what that's gonna mean, I believe, is that students, when you're in a class with Adobe software on the curriculum and you need to use it in there, then you will be able to download the software at home for as long as you're in that class. So not positive about all that. And I know 
There was a little bit of discussion about it at Adobe Max this past October about some of the implications for all of that. So not quite positive on all that, but uh, that's all there is to updating Creative Cloud. I'm gonna close this. And now when I type in Photoshop, we can see Photoshop CC 2019. So it is a new version, right? It's not CC 2018. And there we go, the brand new Photoshop CC 19. Here's one of the updates is just that the undo feature works more like regular computers where control Z, you keep tapping that, it'll just keep walking backwards rather than having to shift control Z. But you can see that you can easily change that back to the old way. So I'm gonna click okay. And that is everything you need to know about installing and managing Photoshop installs on your PC using the Creative Cloud app.